Hey, what's going on everyone? This is our reviews back with another video and today we're taking a look at some really interesting features of the volume buttons on your iPhone. You probably thought that the volume buttons can be used just to turn up or down the volume or the ringer volume on your iPhone, but they actually can do a lot more and here are 16 things that the volume buttons on your iPhone can do that you probably didn't know about. Before getting into the video, I just want to ask you guys for a really quick favor. Most of you guys that watch my videos are currently not subscribed to the channel, so please, if you watch the videos and you like them, make sure to subscribe, it really helps the channel a lot. We're starting things off with the simple stuff, and that's the camera app. Now in the camera app, when you're in the photo mode, of course, you can press any of the buttons and you can take a picture, volume up or volume down, and you can take a picture on your iPhone. You can also take burst pictures by tapping and holding the volume up button. That's actually the way to take burst pictures on your iPhone, or you can take a quick video by pressing and holding the volume down button. You're holding the button, you're taking the video, once you release it, the video is done. Or if you're on the video mode, of course, you can tap any of the buttons here to start recording a video. Once you want to stop, again, press any of the buttons and you're good to go. For the burst mode, you will have to actually have that enabled. So you need to go to your settings, go under camera, and then you will have here use volume up for burst. You go ahead and enable this and then you can take burst pictures using the volume up button. Now, if you want to scan a document, you can also do that with the volume buttons. So you press right here to scan a document. All you have to do is volume up here and you're good to go. Just like that, you can scan a document. Let's move on into the clock app. There are some things you can do on the clock app with the volume buttons. Now, if you go to the clock app and you have an alarm enabled, once the alarm starts ringing, you can actually snooze the alarm without having to press on the screen of your iPhone. You don't have to reach for your phone or find the button to snooze it. All you have to do is just press any of the volume buttons volume up or volume down and just like that you will snooze any alarm that you have on your device now if you have created an alarm that doesn't have the snooze option you can also turn off that alarm so you can do that of course by creating a simple alarm you just disable the snooze button and then you save the alarm and once the alarm rings all you have to do is again volume up or volume down whichever one you want and just like that you can completely turn off the alarm without pressing the screen of your iphone now when you get a call on your iphone you can actually disable the ringer so you get the call your iphone is not on mute and of course it's ringing all you have to do is just press volume up or volume down each of the buttons work just press any one of them and the ringer will be silent of course you won't dismiss the call or you won't decline the call you will have the call there it will just basically turn off the ringer of your iphone even though your iphone is not on mute the volume buttons of your iphone can also be used to disable vibration so if your iphone is on mute and someone calls you of course it will vibrate so if you just want to cut off the vibration you want to turn it off you just go ahead and press again volume up or volume down each of the buttons again will work if you're on a call with the mute uh, mute switch off and of course you get the ringer as i said you can turn it off but if the mute switch is on and you don't have a ringer but have vibration you can still disable vibration simply by tapping one of the buttons now one really useful thing that you can do with the volume buttons but you will have of course to combine it with the side button, side button as well is hard lock your iPhone. Now hard lock is a term used for when you disable the face ID of your iPhone. You see sometimes your iPhone will require you your passcode instead of your face ID. That way you will have to actually enter the passcode first to enable face ID. Well, if in any case you need to quickly disable your face ID or even touch ID if you have a phone with touch ID, all you have to do is press volume up volume down press and hold the side button until it gets on the screen once on this screen it will require the passcode to enable face id so if we press cancel here you can see it just jumps to the lock screen and it will ask the passcode no way to enable face id without entering the passcode so if you want to quickly disable face id or touch id this is the way to do it 
The side buttons can be used also to show your medical ID. In any case, you need a medical ID or maybe on someone else's phone. In any case, you need to show the medical ID. The way to do it is to press either the volume up or the volume down button combined with the side button. So you need to press them at the same time. So volume up or volume down, whichever one you want and the side button, just press and hold until you see this screen right here and they will have the medical ID. So you swipe here and it shows the medical ID yours or the other persons that you need. Now the same thing can be done to quickly go to the SOS screen. So if you need to make an SOS call, you can do that simply by pressing the side button and either volume up or down, press and hold like this. And there you go, you will have emergency SOS right here. You can just slide here to call emergency services as easy as that. These are really, really important. And a lot of people I feel like don't actually know how to display the emergency call screen and medical ID screen on their iPhone. That's pretty easy. Again, any one of the buttons and of course the side button right here and you're good to go. Now, the great thing about this is that this will work also if the device is locked. So again, if you need the medical ID in any case of a person, you can just go ahead and press and hold here the side button and one of the volume buttons and you can show the medical ID and the emergency call as well. The volume buttons can actually be used also on games or different apps. Of course, as long as the dev of that game or app has incorporated the volume buttons on their app, like a telecounter, for example, in this case, this app, which is a telecounter will actually work with the buttons here. So volume up to go up and of course a volume down to go down it actually goes to zero so just like that you press the volume up to go up volume down to go down as easy as that so a lot of apps and games actually have these buttons incorporated on them and it makes it very very easy to actually use the app you can also completely disable the volume buttons. You can do that for any app on your device. The way it works, head on to your settings, go under accessibility and right here will have guided access. Make sure you go ahead and turn it on. Then go here to passcode settings and make sure you have a passcode set on. Then when you go into an app and you want to disable the volume buttons for that app, of course you enable first guided access, triple tap there, it will enable guided access. Then triple tap again, it will show you the screen. So enter the passcode that you have set up after the passcode. This is what you will see. What you need to do now is go to options here and then you will have volume buttons. So if you want to disable volume buttons in this case, you can just go ahead and turn it off right here. And just like that, you have actually disabled the volume buttons for that app. You tap on done and you tap resume here and you're good to go. Now the volume buttons won't work at all while on this app. And the two last things, of course, very simple. You can turn off, of course, your iPhone, simply press and hold one of the volume buttons and the side button. And just like this, you will go to the slide to power off screen. Just like that, you can go ahead and quickly power off your iPhone. And in any case that your iPhone might be frozen or is just not working properly or maybe just not responding at all, what you can do is actually do something called a force reboot. You do that using the volume buttons and the side button. The way it works, all you have to do is just go volume up, volume down, press and hold the side button. It will show the screen, so keep pressing the side button until it goes black and then you see the Apple logo. Once you see the Apple logo on the screen, then you're good to go. You have done a force reboot on your iPhone, which might be necessary in cases that your iPhone is actually not working properly or just frozen completely. So that is it for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and the cool things that you can do with the volume buttons, which are 16 in this video that are actually pretty cool. And probably most iOS users don't know about most of these. So if you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like and of course, subscribe for more videos. And I will see you guys on the next one.